How's it going there guys? Currently on the way to gym, or about to be on our way to the gym with Luke today. Uh, gonna be training, I think back. Probably gonna do a full back workout. No biceps, because I did that the other day and they're still very sore, so I've got to let them recover. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get any uh, workout footage today, but tomorrow when I come to gym, I'm gonna be doing shoulders and abs. So I'm gonna record that. But he's just in there getting changed at the moment. Done weighing out here. Yeah, and then later on today, hopefully gonna do a couple of things. Probably gonna go play football because the weather's nice today, as you can see. Gonna take some photos for my social media and and this other little thing that I'm working on, which I can't mention just yet. But once it's public and I'm ready to launch it, uh, you guys will be the first to know because it's something that I've been very excited to release for a while, and it's one of like the goals that I have with this whole fitness thing. You know, YouTube and everything. This is part of it. It's one of the biggest parts of it. So. Excited to share that with you guys, and I'll catch him with you probably a little bit later. Uh, whatever it is that we're doing. <laughs> Good bit of Jason Mraz to get you pumped for the gym workout. <laughs> Got to get a drink of water, so we're filling up. I might do it as well. I might make it extremely diluted. It'll pre the whole thing. I just don't know if I can drink water like that. It just tastes like shit. No, it doesn't. It tastes like blueberry. <laughs> what flavour would you like? I think I've only got what the, oh. the blueberry tamari. So what? Oh, I need mussels. To... Funnel me. Same thing. Oh. Hey, go, lad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it went in my eyes. Oh. What? <laughs> go. Hasn't even taken it. He's already jittery. Do you want this back? Shit. Yeah, can I have my white nipple, please? Right, to me and Luke are officially done with the workout. Can I hold this between my legs? Okay. Probably can't see, but we are sweaty as hell. Both of us did cardio after our workout. Not as much as I'm meant to do, um, usually, but feeling kind of tired today. Didn't have much sleep last night, which I know isn't a good excuse, but did a lot of volume with the back workout and we're gonna be playing football later anyway, so calories are gonna be burnt from that. A lot of runabout kicking, so I'd say about 200 250 burnt from that will be enough to get me to where I need to be with the deficit that I'm trying to get into. So, because I'm so sweaty, I'm gonna go back now, gonna go have a shower, uh, change, whatnot, sort my hair out, make it look a little bit less puffy. <laughs> then we're gonna go play football, get some pictures, make it that bit. Right, guys, just got to the park, gonna be going and doing the crossbar challenge in a minute. As you can see in my, my gym bag again, I brought just a few tops to, to get these photos that I was talking about earlier. Mostly Gymshark, I think there's one my protein one in there and just a couple of normal ones. There we go. As you can tell, we're not at the park anymore. Decided not to get pictures there, and instead, Luke thought of a good uh, place that we could do in this forest here. It looks dark as hell, but I think the camera is going to be good enough to get some good pictures here. So, again, like I said before, I'll show you guys what we come up with. Do it here, or if we just go to the back of the place. Well, it goes that way down, look. I think so. Oh, yeah. Probably take some along this path here. What's going on guys? Bringing you another workout here and along with it another commentary. So what you're seeing here, we started with um, this shoulder machine press for this shoulder and ab workout. So I think we did four exercises in total, three of which I will show you and then the last one was lateral raises with the dumbbells in the free weight area. So started with this one here, did this normal kind of pronated grip where our palms are facing out towards the mirror and in front of us. This was doing kind of more of the side delt and not so much of the front delt and then we superseted this with the same machine but you see here I'm doing a slightly different grip, I'm doing a neutral grip which as well as being neutral palms your arms are actually slightly more forward so this is going to put much more emphasis on the front delt so oftentimes with machines like these or actually any kind of free weight just by making little tweaks with the way that you're lifting it, you can actually 
target a slightly different area so this is the same for most things you know like with bench press if you were doing that flat or decline it would do kind of more of the lower area of the pectoral but if you were going to incline the bench uh, whether it be dumbbell barbell whatever it's going to do more of the upper half so make little tweaks in your workout don't do the same thing all the time because you might think you're doing the kind of exercise that does hit this area and this area uh, at the same time but it doesn't really put emphasis on one area so you know make changes where you feel you need to make changes if you've got a lagging body part try something new don't do the same repetitive stuff each workout uh, I never go in there and do the exact same workout last shoulder workout I think I did uh, dumbbell press which obviously is similar to this exercise here but it's slightly different so you see what I'm saying maybe change it up you don't have to change it up every single workout and as some people say you keep your muscles guessing because <laughs> that's just unnecessary but you know just kind of explore different means of lifting and different exercises to bring out a legging body part or just have more fun in the gym really okay so after we went onto the shoulder press machine we then went onto this uh, cable fly so this machine is actually quite good because not only can you use it for chest flies which is the main purpose of it but you can also do so many different things on this you can do abs you can do back you can do rear delt you can even put like an attachment on it just to do triceps I did that once in there because all the other cable machines were taken so I just used one of those sides to do uh, tricep push down but anyway here this is going to be targeting the rear part of your shoulder so the so the posterior head so the one at the back so there's three shoulder heads all together and this one at the back is often the hardest for people to grow but this exercise here is probably one of my most favorites uh, to target it because I just feel like it isolates it perfectly and in order to get the best isolation on it you need to keep your arms fairly straight just like you would with a pec fly or chest fly on this machine and then just pull the cables back and make sure that you're not shoulder, you're not using your shoulder blades too much and turning it into more of a upper back movement so as you see there you can see the rear delt kind of crunching as if you were contracting it because well you are <laughs> And if you notice there, when Luke did his, his arms were slightly more bent than mine. And the reason being is just that I've got quite short dinosaur arms. <laughs> I've got little T-Rex arms. Whereas Luke, being tall and just naturally having a slightly bigger physique than me, uh, his arms are longer. So yes, you can stand back um, so that you get the same reach on your arms. But because the cables are kind of limited, if he was to do the exact same reach as I was doing but further back, uh, he wouldn't get the full contraction. So... If you need to bend your arms slightly more, same thing with uh, chest flyer, then do so. Just make sure that you are definitely getting the mind-to-muscle connection in the correct muscle and you're not just pulling the weight to pull the weight. Okay, now after that we went on to these front raises. So this is similar to if you were doing it with a dumbbell, but of course we stayed on this machine, just adjusted the height of the chest flyer machine that we were using. And we're doing one at a time here, so we're doing unilateral exercise for this um, with this again keep your arms straight make sure you're not curling it and involving your bicep into it it should literally just be your shoulders and maybe a little bit of chest because this movement is quite similar in my opinion to uh, the inclined chest flyer so if you were to do both at the same time pull up that would kind of involve your upper chest a little bit more but anyway doing these put my hand on the muscle just so that I can engage that mind to muscle connection and really just focus on where I'm pulling the weight from and you can actually kind of feel the muscle squeezing together. Typically with lower body fat, you're going to feel the muscle doing more work than if you had higher body fat there. But anyway, that's a good technique for you to actually maintain the tension in the one place that you want to do. You don't want to, you also don't want to bring the cable the whole way down and let your shoulder flop out of place and just hang there. You want to keep it under tension constantly. So think about time under tension, guys. You want to keep your muscle under tension throughout the entire workout make sure you're putting it through hell so see my face here each time I contract you can tell that it's quite painful and it should be towards the end it should be with anything that you're doing in the gym if you're trying to gain muscle especially you need to make sure that it's actually challenging you uh, don't just do three sets of 12 or whatever weight someone was um, someone had it on before because that's just the number of reps you need to do it needs to be challenging for yourself I think it's so stupid when people um, will just do the same weight as their mates or whatever in the gym and then struggle it or they'll find it too easy or whatever because like it's, it's, if it's going to improve for someone else doesn't mean it's going to improve for you so make sure you're tailoring your weight and the movement and the exercise you're doing 
to your preference. There might be an exercise that someone doesn't like, but the other person does. So just try new things. Make sure that you're not doing the same thing again and again and find what works for you. Gonna leave that commentary here, guys. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. This morning, got another low weigh in. So the one from yesterday, yesterday morning was 153 pounds, which I've been stuck at for quite a while. Uh, but this morning, got 152 and three quarters. Current uh, deficit, weight, everything. And if you notice there, <laughs> got some really weird drawings. I have no idea what that bunny is doing. It looks really messed up. Uh, these two are Pokemon. Comment down below if you know what they are. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, I haven't played the app in a while. Might do a bit of that later on. What do you guys think of my MacBook stickers? Got Gymshark up there, and then I got my not most favourite superhero, but one of the most badass ones. And I think this is probably the best thing for this laptop case. Every time I turn it on, especially in the dark, you can see his hand light up like Iron Man's does in the film. But I'm feeling like maybe it's a little bit better. I might add some other things and I've actually got um, this that I dug out the other day a monster sticker so I'm trying to think where I can put this do I do it sideways do I do it in the corner I'm not sure <laughs> but I'm gonna probably tat up this this laptop